Oh my god, this is so gritty. Not liking it at all. Like, I'm scrubbing the scrub away now, but I can literally feel it scratching my skin. Hello guys, today I want to put to the test the St. Eve's Blemish Control Apricot Scrub for one entire week and actually see what results we see on our skin after the seven days are over. Now maybe hopefully reducing pigmentation and dark spots and also a reduced in acne? We'll see about that. But anyways, reading from the bottle, this says that this scrub with 100% natural walnut shell powder. Okay, so already we have a problem here, but we're gonna address it later on in the video, so make sure you keep watching for that. It deeply cleanses pores and helps stop breakouts for balanced, radiant skin. All right, so this sounds promising. Now also in the exfoliating factor scale, I don't know if you can see, it says that this is deep exfoliation, which we definitely get with the walnut, but also, you know what, I'm gonna talk about it just in one second, but girl, as for now, I'm really curious to see what St. Eve's can give to the girls. So without further ado, let's put this exfoliator to the test. Okay, you guys, so before we start, I want to show you what my skin looks like right now. So as you can see, I have a few blemishes on the cheeks. I also have a few blackheads on the nose, another blemish right here on the cheeks, and also on the chin jawline here too. But anyways, I want to see the smell, if it smells like apricots, first of all, and ooh, oh my god, look at that. Okay, it's definitely a weird color and a weird consistency. <laughs> It does not smell like apricots. It smells more like shampoo in a way. But anyways, I'm just going to emulsify it. This is what it looks like. As you can see, it has very chunky granules. I'm just going to try on applying it on my face. <gasps> Oh my god, this is so gritty. You guys, honestly, I don't know. It's very strong, especially when I do this. Like, I can feel it scratching my skin very strongly. But honestly, it doesn't come to a shock to me because walnut shells are literally known to be very harsh and very abrasive to the skin and actually cause micro tears in the skin. Then in the long run, they're gonna cause your skin to age a lot quicker and faster. So create more wrinkles and fine lines. You guys, okay, I'm not liking it at all. Like, I'm scrubbing the scrub away now, but I can literally feel it scratching my skin. This is what my skin is looking like. I am seeing a little bit of redness, to be honest, and a little bit of irritation, like, right here. Look at that. <laughs> God damn, if I had this maybe, like, two, three years ago when I wasn't into skincare and I was really going hard on my skin, I would have destroyed my skin. Thank God now I know better. First impressions is definitely a no-no. You can feel it being so strong. Mm -mm. Okay, guys, so it's day four. I usually like to leave, like, two days in between my exfoliations, either chemical or physical. I wouldn't use this, but it's just a formality. I just want to read the ingredient list with you guys and just go through it together since it's tradition on this channel. So first of all, of course, I see the walnut shells. Again, definitely very bad. Do not recommend them. But then there's also glycerol stearate, glycerin, and cetyl alcohol. Now, all of these are basically very moisturizing and hydrated ingredients. One of them is an alcohol, one of the good alcohols in skincare, the cetyl alcohol. And the other two are actually glycerin-based, which is going to be a humectant, so it's really going to moisturize the skin. Then there's also salicylic acid. Acid, I see what you guys. Salicylic acid is really one of my favorite ingredients for acne prone oily skin because it really cleans your skin from the inside out. So truly this is what it's gonna be the blemish control because it really gets rid of blackheads, whiteheads, and prevents future breakouts. Truly amazing. <gasps> Oh my god, I also see benzoic acid in this, which is basically benzoyl peroxide, which also is very amazing for preventing acne and truly kills the bacteria causing your acne if you have bacterial acne. To be honest, if it worked for the walnut shell, I would quite like this ingredient list. Hmm. I also see perfume, so fragrance, which is actually sensitive to the skin, so we don't like that as much. But you know what, St. Eve's, I get it, because it would have been a little bit disappointing if this wouldn't have had an apricot smell. Also, on top of that, fragrance on cleansers is fine just because cleansers only sit on your skin for 60 seconds or so. Whereas, like, on serums, which is a leave-on product, that is definitely a no-no. I don't even feel like using it. I don't feel like I have the strength and the braveness of using this. Therefore, girl, what I really want to do for you that you're still watching and you are looking for an exfoliator, I'm going to give you other better alternative and options to this one, which are also going to be a lot more pleasant than using, because this, uh... In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, I sprinkle some Cozarex holy toner water to protect us from these demons. Stay away. <laughs> okay, guys, so I am here. My randoms know, and y'all expect me to go off and start dragging this product, this brand. But you know what? No, we're going to keep it cute. We're going to make it different today. We're actually going to extract the positives and what we can learn out of this failure. All right? All I'm going to say to St. Eve's is this. Why did you call yourself St. Eve's? Truly, this is a demonic product. You should not be called Saint 
at all. You, my friends, belong in hell. That's all I'm gonna say. Please, skincare lords, please protect us from all these demons. Rebuke the demons that are haunting me in this life. Please, Lord, please forgive us and forgive me from all my sins. And please do not let me get this from my Saint Eve scrub. But anyways, guys, for anyone who's watching who's maybe considering of buying this, please don't. What I'm gonna give you right now is options, alternatives that you could use instead of this. First of all, I'm gonna say, personally, I don't like physical exfoliators just because, you know, my face is filled with fillers, all right? And so, like, the physical scrubbing just freaks me out because I'm scared that it would move my filler. We love being fake on the channel. We stand silicone. That's what we do. Also, on top of that, people tend to be really rough when using physical scrubs. Like, they tend to really scrub your skin out as if they were trying to peel off their first layer of skin. That is not what we're trying to achieve here, okay, ladies? So, if you're asking me, truly, physical exfoliators, they're the old way of exfoliating your skin, okay? If you are using physical exfoliators in 2020, girl, you might as well be living in the 1800s, okay? You are one of them people who goes around with a flip Motorola phone 2008. <laughs> Now I will say, the ingredients in this that will give you that chemical exfoliation on top of the physical exfoliation of the walnut is actually salicylic acid and benzoic acid as we have seen. Therefore, what I recommend is you get yourself on a salicylic acid serum, like for example this one from Nip and Fab, 2% extreme salicylic acid. The Ordinary used to make a 2% version of this salicylic acid as well, but they stopped producing it. I've heard that it's coming back, so keep an eye out for that. But truly there are so many salicylic acid serums in the market, so truly this serum is amazing because it doesn't require you to actually scrub physically. However, don't go overboard because this could also have its negatives, like for example, giving you a chemical burn. Now, if you also want benzoic acid, truly I have loved benzoic acid in my skin routine, been using it for years. Actually, you guys, fun fact, benzoyl peroxide, this cream is called acnicide, by the way, if you're wondering, truly was one of the first ingredients that actually delivered with visible results to my acne. I was so happy with it. Definitely pay attention to how much you use because this, again, can burn your skin. However, I can also testify on the Bible in front of this whole entire jury that this truly works amazing. So, you could also definitely combine these two. I would say don't use them at the same time because that could be too strong. And honestly, we'll see which one works best for you. I personally prefer the salicylic acid now as to this one. I can also move on to saying you could use, for example, some toners that can also contain exfoliating and chemical exfoliation. This is the Cosrx BHA Power Liquid Toner. So, the BHA, for example, salicylic acid, that is what it's contained in this once again. It may you find that a serum of salicylic acid can be too strong for your skin because you have sensitive skin or dry skin and that could be overpowering. Definitely this toner is a lot more gentler and can be a better option for you. By the way, keep in mind if you have acne prone skin, you could definitely use both of these in your routine. And so truly all these ones that I've showed you with these ingredients right here are gonna be super beneficial and penetrating in the deeper area of your skin and actually control the blemishes like this is claiming of what it's gonna do. So this is gonna help your skin from the inside out. Now I actually want to move on to AHAs. So like for example this toner, the The Ordinary Glycolic Acid 7% Toning Solution, or also this The Ordinary Lactic Acid 10% Solution. Both of these contain AHAs. They resurface the top layers of your skin. So they are truly the equivalent in the chemical exfoliation as what a physical exfoliation could give you because the beads in this are literally gonna like scrub away the texture that you have in your skin. Also the flakiness, the dryness. This is basically gonna do the same thing without the scrubbing. It's actually gonna dissolve dissolve the dead skin cells and also the texture, the roughness that you might have on your skin, like I like to call it the chicken skin, all the little bumps that you don't know how to get rid of. Truly, I have been using physical exfoliators for like the beginning of my skincare journey. They weren't doing much at all. Let me tell you, sis. These truly are game changing. But same applies for these ones as it goes for that one. You could definitely use both of these in your routine. I literally do. However, alternate them when you are using this. Don't use this. So truly guys, what have we learned here? This was just a very quick video, but I just wanted to just inform you and show you that you do not need, let me get this right here, this demonic presence in your life. All right, what you need to do is rebuke it. Y'all need to like, in the name of the skincare gods and all that is good in skincare, please step away, Satan. This is no place for a demon. All right, so when you're in the bathroom, do not let this step inside of the bathroom door. You want to sprinkle a little bit of holy water. You want to keep this out. So truly, guys, what have we learned in this video? That there are amazing products, alternatives to physical exfoliators in general, all right? I would rather have you using these chemical exfoliators rather than physical exfoliators in general, point, period, comma. However, this specifically is the demon itself.
No, no, no. Actually, you know what? This is not a demon at all. This is Satan himself. Uh-uh. You are out. You know what? I'm gonna throw you out. <coughs> Goodbye. She is, does not... Oh, my God. It actually spilled on the... And by the way, guys, I want to mention for all the products that I mentioned in this video, I have done a specific video and review trying out these for one entire week and actually seeing and show you guys. Oh! It one fell the results so truly if you want to go see them They're all on my channel and you can actually find out which one is gonna be best for you for your skin type in general But anyways ma'am if you're still watching I'm sorry that this video was a little bit messy was a little bit over the place Anyways if you enjoyed what you saw here then girl my you as well Just subscribe to the back because you don't miss any of my uploads We would love to have you part of the brand family because you actually better trust yourself and trust me myself That we review amazing products unlike this one all the damn time So girl if you may be struggling with acne or you may be struggling with fine lines and wrinkles girl I would love to help you out and actually figure out down to a T what your amazing and perfect skin routine could be trust me it took me years so girl don't hesitate and mwah, join the random family and also if you maybe want to see a little bit more behind the scene of what's going on behind in my life what you should do is actually follow me on Instagram there as well because we keep the same energy if you like what you saw here you're definitely gonna like what you see there and also ma'am if you may be struggling with your skin and you want a little bit of one-on-one -on -one help girl don't hesitate to DM me I would love to help you mwah. but anyways to the randoms who are still watching y'all know what time of the video is now? It's time for the Italian word of the video. And since this video was all about this, oh damn, now I need to go get it because I needed to show it. Oh damn, all right, let me go grab it. Uh, I regret throwing it away now. Woo! Okay, so since this video was all about this demonic exfoliating device, the Italian word of the video is actually going to be demoniaco, which is demonic in English. I actually went to the comment down below if you had any supernatural demonic experiences. I am so much into horror movies and ghost movies. I never personally had an experience of the third kind. No, wait, that's aliens, is it? But I definitely believe that it's true. But anyways, ma'am, what y'all need to do right now is watch one of these two videos right here. Don't watch the videos recommended to you by YouTube. YouTube does not know what you want. What you want is one of these two. But also remember to be random and always be random while you're doing that. <laughs> Life is better being random, so literally click one of them too, or I'm gonna tell one, one of my many ghost friends to come haunt you in your sleep, and also, he's gonna rub this on your face while you're sleeping. You're gonna wake up with hideous skin. Hideous! You don't wanna do that. Click.